Hey guys, welcome. It's Dwayne here with Castles and Attics. Hey, wanted to show you my uh, latest record finds, okay? We'll go over a few of them here. And uh, this one just brought up some old memories. Uh, here's a nice gatefold cover of Joe Walsh. It's got a turn to stone on it, a classic you hear on the uh, radio from time to time. Got the old barnstorm. And uh, didn't appreciate Joe Walsh's um, back uh, many years ago as much as I do now. But what a, what a great icon and really a good record. Uh, there's a lot of this group uh, that I found was uh, some Southern style stuff. Uh, there was some Mason Prophet, but here's a, a nice second helping copy. It, and you know what? If you put this on the radio, I could I could listen to every song. The Ballad of Curtis Lowe, Swamp Music, They Call Me the Breeze, you know, Sweet Home Alabama. What a great cover on the back here. I'm pretty sure this is a, a later issue. I thought this came on the uh, Stone Creek label as well. And uh, I know they were on MCA at the time, but it has the uh, the sounds of the South Records on it. But uh, nice early copy either way. Really super clean. Good record to find. Here's a nice gatefold. Black Sabbath. With the uh, inserts there. It's pretty cool, huh? So these are always nice to find. And this is a green vinyl first issue or green label excuse me nice green Warner Brothers label uh, Black Oak Arkansas you know why I like Black Oak Arkansas uh, I, I like the southern style stuff but I mean the guy's name was Jim Dandy I mean he went on to be known as Jim Dandy you know just just too cool for me good stuff old little Joe Walsh there going into a jam missed a little bit of it but how fun is that hey Moth the Hoople Hey, all the young dudes, carry you do. There it is. Really cool. Really fun. Haven't got to play this again yet. It's been a long time since I've listened to this. Uh, all those were uh, thrift store finds. Then when I was with uh, the family away on vacation, you're celebrating Christmas, you're walking through an antique mall, and what do you look for but Iron Maiden records? Well, no, not really. I, I just found them. And uh, they're really hot sellers for me right now. And whenever I can find them, I'll gladly buy them. Okay. And this was really kind of cool because uh, the person that owned them actually put them all in separate sleeves. These clear sleeves. And then inside were, were, other, uh, were the original sleeves. Like this one had a, uh, cl had a clear vinyl. There's a piece of mine. I bought all of them. They were all uh, like uh, $3.99 uh, to $2.99. There's uh, your original inner sleeve. Early pressings, all of them. Uh, Power Slave. You know, I was never a big Iron Maiden fan. You know what I remember about Iron Maiden most off? Is I got to see Megadeth for the first time with Iron Maiden. And uh, I thought that was just one of the, the most amazing concerts I'd ever seen or, or performances I'd ever seen. Seeing Dave Mustaine under that light, you know. What do you mean I don't believe in God? I go to church after. You know, just wonderful, wonderful stuff, you know. And uh, there we go, another Iron Maiden, Seventh Son of the Seventh Son. But a lot of these LPs, I'm 15, 20 bucks a piece on these days. Um, people buy them right out of my shops, malls, things I put them in. And uh, just nice, clean copies here. Here's a UK uh, pressing. Can, can I play with madness? And uh, kind of a best uh, first of the ten years kind of compilation. Here's uh, Live After Death. Obviously a double LP there. And uh, finally Somewhere in Time. But I just wanted to show you a few of those. Uh, I thought it was kind of neat to, uh, just to find a couple collections. And I put them out there. Let's take a look. And uh, I'll find you some more, okay, as we get into the new year. Happy hunting uh, in 2011. It's good to see you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to uh, my uh my video blogs there, okay? Thanks, guys. Till we meet again, keep a song in your heart.